Under Division 128 of the 1997 Tax Act, the concept of an asset passing from a willmaker or the executor into the estate is absolutely certain that, that that transfer of wealth is not subject to any capital gains tax. Where some confusion arises, particularly in relation to cascading trusts or master trusts, is that the language under Division 128 is a little bit obscure or, or a little bit uncertain as to exactly what is going to happen once the assets have passed into the estate. So in other words, the transfer from the willmaker to the legal personal representative, absolutely no capital gains tax. The transfer from the legal personal representative or the executor down into an initial testamentary trust, again, absolutely no capital gains tax. The confusion then arises that is it the case that from the tr testamentary trust to a beneficiary, particularly if that beneficiary happens to be another testamentary trust, will that transfer be without capital gains tax? And on a plain reading of Division 128, there is little question that that transfer of subsequent assets, even if it is to another trust, will be free of capital gains tax. But there has been, I guess for many years now, a level of uncertainty about that simply because of the language used under that particular division.